Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In case we haven't met before, I'm Anastasia, the founder of All You Can Face, and I'm passionate about teaching you how to exercise your facial muscles. Because what happens beneath the skin is equally important as what we put on top of it to stay looking beautiful and age gracefully. And today I would love to talk about something which we probably do not think about when it comes to our skin. And on social media or generally we are usually bombarded with products to enhance our skin and face. But there are so many habits you can improve without even touching any product to really gain the benefits for your skin. So let's dive deeper into 10 habits you can do to improve your skin without even touching it. So let's see which ones you're already incorporating or might not. Because some of them seem obvious but need a reminder and some others you might probably didn't even know that they are important for you. So let's start with the obvious. Stay out of the sun, especially from noon till 4 p.m. And I'm not talking about SPF, that is something obviously, but try to avoid the sun in those peak hours because 90% of your skin damage, all your concerns which come with age really come through the sun. While the sun obviously enhances vitamin D production and that is important, try to be at least aware when sitting for example in a cafe or running outside and then really be exposed to the sun directly. So look maybe into sunglasses, into hats and try to cover your face as much as you can because trust me, this will have a huge impact long term on how your face looks and the health of your skin. When it comes to the sun, Stay in the shade, try not to squint, look into eyeglasses which cover your entire eye area and protect it and use a hat or anything else to protect yourself from the sun. The next thing I would suggest is to look into silk, bamboo or satin sheets. This is not because I want you to become fancy like a princess, but honestly those materials cause the least friction when it comes to rubbing them onto your face. If you're a side sleeper, you probably squish the fabric and your skin together and then cause wrinkles over the long run. And this not only causes wrinkles, but also can lead to acne and all kinds of things. So try to use materials which are skin friendly. So silk, satin or bamboo sheets actually reduce the friction and then cause less rubbing. It's also an amazing thing to reduce frizz. I not only sleep on a silk pillowcase, but also have actually a silk cap and I look like a granny every night, but it really helps my hair not to become so frizzy in the morning. And maybe not so obvious actually, wash your pillowcases regularly. I would suggest to wash your pillowcases around every week, or if you really suffer from acne or any other skin condition, then really wash them every two to three days even. And really look into detergents which are skin friendly, do not have any fragrance in them. So you really minimize the risk, first of all, to get any bacteria on your sheets, but also minimize the risk of unnecessary detergents really comprising your skin barrier. So yes, your pillowcase is extremely important when it comes to the quality of your skin, hair and overall beauty. Let's get into the third thing you can change during your life to enhance your beauty of your skin. And that is sugar. I know you probably heard it before, but eating sugar constantly will not only cause sugar spikes and energy which is accumulating and suddenly you have like your depressed downs, but it also causes something called glycation where sugar breaks down your collagen and then the quality of your skin is really reduced in the long run and those fibers and collagen proteins are not really replenishing in the long run. Eating also overly sugary food will not only spike your sugar highs, but also will really play with your hormones. And your hormones in the end also determine how you look and how your skin's quality is. So really, really look into your sugar intake. And for that, I actually have a little tip. Look into Glucose Goddess on Instagram because she has such amazing tips when it comes to sugar. And I learned so much, for example, that dates where I thought these are very healthy sources of sweetness are actually no different than your normal sugar which you would eat. Let's get to the fourth habit when it comes to beautiful skin. And that is probably the top number one answer when top models get asked 
what are they doing for their beauty? And yes, girlfriend, it's very true. Drink your water. Drink at least so much that you need to pee regularly and often. While actually drinking water is a misconception that it really like replenishes your skin hydration level, it will help with all the important functionalities in your body and will really enhance lymphatic drainage. Because where fluid goes and where everything runs smoothly, you can also detoxify your body properly. How can you determine whether you're drinking enough? Well, look at your pee. What color is it? If it's really amber and almost orangey, then you absolutely do not drink enough. It almost should be clear or as light as lemonade. And I know it sounds disgusting, but really look at it and monitor it because it's so important for not only the beauty of your skin, but overall immune system and health. In the end, your body is a construct which works together. So not drinking water and not having a strong immune system will reflect on your beauty, skin and energy levels. Let's get to the next big thing when it comes to maintaining beautiful skin without even using products. And that is do not touch your skin throughout the day. Imagine you're going through the subway or anywhere else in the supermarket and then you touch your face and all this gunk is le left on your face. And obviously this is such an amazing ground for bacteria to grow, for pimples to increase. So really, really do not touch your face during the day. If you do facial exercises and massages, make sure your face is clean, your hands are clean, because just doing randomly swoops without washing your hands or face will really actually cause more harm than good to your face. And then another thing, stop picking your face. I know it's really hard for us who suffered from acne. Sometimes it's so tempting to start popping those pimples. But trust me, in the long run, you will cause post-inflammatory spots and scars. And in fact, actually look into my video, which I posted recently about scarring and understand what scars are made of and what you can do at home. But nevertheless, try to prevent it and do not pick your face. Let's get to the sixth point when it comes to doing something without buying products for your skin. And that is exercising your body. Well, you might ask yourself, okay, why am I exercising my body and what does it have to do with my skin? The lymphatic system, which is in charge of your immune system, your skin, the look and feel and energy levels overall of your body have a huge impact on how your skin looks. And the interesting thing, the slim fluid which runs throughout our body is not moving unless you are moving. So while we have blood circulating throughout our body, which is activated by the pump of our heart, the lymph fluid is not moving unless you are moving. So lymph fluid is starting to move by muscle contraction. So even like nice walks, jumps or light exercises three times a week will really enhance your skin and energy levels. And it will also increase blood circulation and you will really see it in your face. If you've done a workout recently and look at your face, you probably have rosy cheeks, you're glowing and this will really enhance lymphatic drainage and detoxify your face. Let's get to our next point when it comes to the beauty of your skin without products and that is sleeping. Yes, beauty sleep is real. While we sleep, our body regenerates itself and heals. While we sleep, we also reduce the hormone cortisol, which is in charge of thinning the skin and also discoloration. And we increase the production of the hormone melatonin, which is there to decrease fine lines, wrinkles, and even cancer. So while we sleep, our skin also regenerates, building new cells and growing and healing. So it's super important to get a good night of sleep. I actually made also a video on overnight successes when it comes to skincare. So this video will be linked below as well. Let's get to the eighth point when it comes to beautiful skin without using skincare products and that is to disinfect your phone or laptop regularly we are touching our phones constantly when we are going out when we are going into the supermarket or anything else and then we probably call our best friend or anyone else and then this all ends up right here. This will be such a huge source of improvement when it comes to overly reducing the germs and bacteria for your skin. The average user actually touches their phones 2500 times a day, which is actually crazy. So try to really 
disinfect your phone daily or even more often. I would always carry some disinfectant and really touch up the phone regularly because it can not only harm your skin and your beauty, but you can also transmit illnesses, <laughs> flus, viruses. So who wants that? Try to keep your phone clean. Let's get to the next point and that is washing your face in the evening. Washing your face in the evening really makes sure that your skin can regenerate overnight, makes sure that you do not have any gunk or clogging ingredients on your face. So really wash your face in the evening. And that sounds probably like a no-brainer, but sometimes it's not really clear from what I hear in my messages, DMs and comments. Your skin also is not overly made to have tons of products, tons of makeup on it. So try to implement some skincare free or makeup free days so your skin can really breathe and regenerate itself and produce anything naturally what it does because your skin is a self-sufficient functioning organ. Try to keep everything at a minimum and in the evening at least keep it clean. But do not strip your skin from excess oil because again your oils or natural oils on your skin are super important to maintain a healthy skin barrier. And then lastly I know it's probably a no-brainer as well, but stop smoking. <coughs> if you really are concerned about how your face and skin looks, then please do me a favor and stop smoking. I, for example, don't even like if other people are smoking into my faces. I really don't like it at all. And also passively smoking is really not good for you. But if you're smoking, this really can damage the DNA of your skin. It will really break down the elastin and collagen in your skin and you will also get everything droopy faster, you will look dull and there are just way much more downsides than upsides to smoking. You also will create dehydration around your mouth, it will cause blackheads and you will have yellow teeth and studies show that people who are actually smoking heal slower than people who are not. That means if you get a pimple or if you get any rash or any skin condition, it'll probably take longer to heal than if you're not smoking at all. So try to consider that. Well guys, this is it and ask yourself, how many points out of those 10 are you already doing or need to consider improving? Write them down in the comments. I'm super interested in what you already knew, what you didn't. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below as well. And also facial exercises and massages is a great way without using product to maintain and improve your glow of your skin. And with that being said, I can't wait to see you next week and I wish you an amazing weekend. Till then, mwah. Thank you.